both kids, it's the heart that's the real threat to their lives. How much more time do we have? Megan, maybe a year. Patrick, less. I wish that we had a drug to treat Pompeii, but we simply don't. I'm sorry. Dr. Stonehill. Yeah. This is John Crowley. All the researchers out there say that you're a genius on the verge of a scientific breakthrough. I'm not on the verge of anything. How much would it take to prove your theory? The odds against you are crushing. So where does that leave your kids when the dad has no job and no health insurance? You're right. This is crazy. But I can't just sit around and wait for my kids to die. I promised them that we'd raise 500. That's all? 1,000. Is it 500 or 1,000? 500,000. Are you totally insane? Apparently. Was he worth it, the Stonehill guy? He's really eccentric, but his science is way ahead of everybody else's. Do you have a wife? Uh, ex-wives. Two of them. Yeah? How come? Because I'm so easy to get along with. Figure any dude in a business suit can help me raise venture capital and run the company. But who's going to be half as motivated as a dad who's trying to save his own kids? Do this. We push ourselves. We work around the clock. I already work around the clock. Great. Cure diseases in theory, but never help a single human being in reality. I can't cure your kids, you know that, but I think I can save their lives. And what if he succeeds too late? Then what? You're in clinical trials by the end of the year, or we pull the plug. Nobody is going to tell me how to run my lab. We're out of time. Are you crazy? You've jeopardized your chances of ever getting your kids treated. You told me that I should stop chasing miracles. Well, don't get your hopes up, kid. It's a Hail Mary. Not gonna kiss me, I think. I will restrain him. <laughs>